Planning for your retirement can seem like a daunting prospect, but retirement today can actually mean a new lease of life. In today's episode, we meet with experts in the field of lifestyle retirement living and look at the steps to investing in a holiday home. We may think of holiday caravans or cabins as simple, rustic getaways, a chance for getting back to nature, but modern holiday homes can be surprisingly stylish, comfortable and affordable a viable investment option for many retired individuals or couples. Peter White of Willoughby Holiday Homes showed us around one of their properties. These days in terms of the modern holiday home, the, the features range from key things like central heating, double glazing, electrical items such as um, fridges, dishwashers and, and really is a home from home. This is what's changed dramatically from probably the, the holiday home that people experience as a child. Nowadays you have every mod con including fine detail like double flush toilets for conservation of water etc. It has all of the conveniences if not more than you'd have at home actually. Different families want different things and you know we've got everything from young families who perhaps have got the stress and aggravation of travelling abroad and airport hassles and not quite showing the type of accommodation you get on the other end up to older people that are going close to retirement and, and maybe just retiring where they're planning for the next 10, 20 years of leisure time and also the more important thing which is quite recent where you're helping other family members. So. Um, my parents have bought a caravan recently. Um, it's good to supply caravans to your own family. And what they do is, you know, I go up with my children and you get the feeling of helping your grandchildren and the likes of that, which is really quite important in the current time. Originally, back in uh, probably the 60s, people will recall in those days uh, very often it was a case of taking a trip to the shower block and uh, certainly if you if you had the call of nature during the the early hours it was it was a wander across a muddy field well gone to those days you have all the modern conveniences of ensuite facilities etc your own showers etc so the thing that's changed really is that it's very much like a domestic property in all respects apart from the construction every mod con is an integral part of the holiday home these days here we are in the, the Willoughby Winchester 38 by 12 two bed variant. As you can see here in the lounge, we have uh, loose seating, which can be re rearranged by the owners. There would be normally a choice of either French doors or a fixed window variant, according to the specifics of the pitch. Maybe I'll just show you through to the kitchen. Here in the, the feature kitchen, we have a separate dining area which is ample for six. If this were the three bed version, there would be six seats accordingly. And then the adequately equipped kitchen with cooker. And you have in this particular unit, the option of a dishwasher or a washing machine as well to suit where you'd particularly want to, to, to have that. And in addition, fridge freezer for uh, all of the essentials. Here we are, the master bedroom with its own ensuite facility toilet wash hand basin, separate dressing area, ample storage with lockers and wardrobes, lots of drawer space for uh, all the essentials. The experience of owning a caravan is wonderful and it's easy for me to say that because obviously I sell them myself but as a child you know I remember um, going with my parents I've got a dreadful memory and I can remember my mum and dad that is in really special times and when you've done that yourself I go now with my children and it allows you to experience things and with grandchildren as well you know whether you're walking up Snowdon or lying on the beach or playing board games when you own a house uh, or you go into a villa in your leisure time, you know, everybody's in different rooms, one's on a computer, one's on an iPad, whereas in a caravan you, become, you come together as a family. And whether that's just a retired couple, which is the majority market, or the family, and of course you have friends on the side as well, so it's very social. Just wandering through the, the hallway, here on my right is the family bathroom, which in this particular case includes a bath and shower. Twin bedroom with ample wardrobe storage space. So that probably sums up the, the Winchester, but if we just consider things in general, this is, is pretty typical in terms of holiday home accommodation. Most units are either 12 feet or 12 feet 6 wide, and they range between something like 35 feet on average to 42 feet long. So that's giving people several permutations in terms of layout, choice and style. And if we add on the other key selection ingredients of windows and door options, that really sums up your holiday home. 
One of the key things and, and its appeal to the, the 55 plus market is the fact that it is very much a home from home, but something that, and often these days parks are providing accommodation for up to 12 months of the year. So it, it literally means that if they wanted to, a couple of family could spend six, nine months of that time actually on park in, in idyllic surroundings with every creature comfort that they would have at home. So the real appeal is to take a break from the grime, from the city, from the pressures of life, and just be in either a rural location or coastal location that, that may be someone's desired for, for most of their working lives. I think that what really makes the experience uh, kind of lasting uh, and really enjoyable is to have the location um, really kind of exactly what you want today as well as what you perceive in the next 10, 15, 20 years as well because obviously your, your life changes during that period. Is it level enough? Does it have the right facilities? And that, that the, the effort needs to go into finding the right location. Investing in property at any stage of life is a big decision. Richard Davis of Life Care Residences describes the possibilities of independent retirement living and the opportunities resident owners can expect. The main options for people approaching retirement are that they stay where, they, where they're currently living for as long as possible and sometimes get help in to, to maintain their, their own home. Or they can move into sheltered housing or they can move into what's called extra care which is a, like sheltered housing but with a with more care on site. Or they stay as long as they can in their own home and then move into a nursing home which most people try to avoid because it's not the, it's not the, the ultimate lifestyle retirement. Um, so we saw a gap for uh, lifestyle retirement villages where people can come and live independently and have access to care um, as and when they require it. We think it's really important for those retirees to maintain their independence and rather than feeling they're dependent on other people um, to carry on living their, their lifestyle. A lot of people find when they're staying in their own home that they don't have access to neighbours because they're busy people and they're working so they don't have that socialisation and, and don't really live a, an independent life. Uh, so they move here and they have a whole new social network, a whole group of friends and if I use my parents as an example, in their retirement village in New Zealand, um, Dad had his 80th birthday there and all of his older friends had already passed away but all his new friends came to a cocktail party at his, at his unit and, and you know, so they've, they've got a whole new life, a whole new lease on life by moving into the retirement village and having access to all of the things that are provided there. I think we decided that we needed to move to Grove Place at a time when the house that we bought hopefully as our last move was proving to be too big, um, certainly for Jenny because she had um, some medical problems which made breathlessness and walking difficult. I was in charge of the major reconstruction of the garden, we'd reconstructed it but it was taking more and more of our time and energy and suddenly the realisation comes along that perhaps we couldn't manage it into mm. the future and it was time to move. The next question was where do you move to? To help ourselves we tried to draw up a list of criteria that we thought would suit us and it's always very difficult um, because you're looking to the future and you don't know what the future holds for you. Jen was very forthright on what she wanted and what she didn't want so that helped a lot and it was really setting up um, the fact that we wanted a, a good quality property in nice surroundings with the amenities that we thought we would need. You suddenly realise that you're becoming a slave to your own property. You're not having the retirement that you planned. We weren't getting out for days out. Um, we weren't relaxing as we were because it was the garden or something that needed maintenance in the house. And that actually per probably with the increasing costs of maintaining a property was perhaps the final decision that right now's the time to move. We won't wait until we're 75 plus. We'll do it before while we've got the energy to do it. A lot of people when they're uh, approaching retirement see uh, retirement villages as old people's homes and somewhere where you virtually go to die, which is a really sad view on, on retirement. So a retirement village like Grove Place, as you can see, it, it provides a whole host of things that people haven't necessarily had access to for their whole lifetime and so it's quite a different lifestyle where they can live independently and have a lot of fun with friends and like-minded people. In the past previous property we had been burgled several times and we felt that right okay we, we enjoy our holidays like going out for days. We needed a secure environment 
preferably one of these nice gated ones. Well, I think when we found Grove Place um, one Sunday afternoon, we drove up and thought, wow, this is different. It was certainly different to any others that we'd seen. seen yes. I think the ambience of the approach sort of sets the scene, doesn't it? And you can relax about what's behind it. But we were delighted to find that what was behind it was good quality, um, exceptionally set out and thought through properties. With the added factor that they've got um, care on site with their own staff, I think that was a big plus factor because Jen's... Um, trained district nurse so she knows what she wants in terms of medical support and in talking to the people there it was obviously available so that was a factor that we could quickly discount as a worry when you look at the quality of the buildings and the other things that are available to you in terms of the restaurant the gym the swimming pool once the children came down for their first visit they thought we, they said can we come down and stay in your castle again they think it's lovely <laughs> So some of the things that are available at a typical retirement village include 24-hour um, care if required and emergency call buttons. So if anything goes wrong at any time of the day, if they push the emergency call button, then, then a life care residence's staff member is going to be there in an instant to, to help them. So it's peace of mind for them and for their family, knowing that if, if the worst happens, even though it's totally unexpected, then um, care is at hand rather than being at home and possibly stranded for a long time, which people really worry about and so do family members. So there are a lot of things available. We can deliver care into their home, we can deliver housekeeping services. So some people decide that they'd rather be out playing backgammon or, or swimming in the pool and so they can get cleaning services uh, brought in. They don't have to cook meals if they don't want to, but obviously they, most of the people cook all of their meals and, and have dinner in their home, but they can come to the lovely restaurant here and, and enjoy uh, a meal and uh, socialization. As soon as we moved here, we realised we'd made a good decision. We relaxed quickly. We orientated ourselves fairly quickly around a new road system. But what we are doing is going out and visiting the coast, the new forest, and all the other attractions that this part of the country has got to offer. So what we had done prior to the move was to research the area and see what was available. And it frightened us to death because I don't think we've got enough time the rest of our lives to see it all. So there's a challenge there. So it was replacing one challenge with one that's completely different. And I think that was worth doing. Imagine owning a family retreat to provide an instant release from the rigors of modern life. Welcome to Willoughby. Enhance your leisure time by escaping to the coast or the countryside in a fully furnished caravan holiday home or lodge that matches your lifestyle requirements at home or abroad. Long established as the UK's number one, Willoughby is a British manufacturing success with the widest choice of home from home accommodation from which to choose. The perfect destination awaits. One doctor gives you national prefixed prices with no call out or overtime charges 24 hours, 365 days a year. Drain Doctor Emergency Plumbing and Drainage As quick as a wink. The doctor will see you now. Life Care Residences is an internationally experienced retirement village operator with three villages in England and two in New Zealand. We offer independent living. A range of high quality communal facilities and 24 hour care is available, all in a friendly and social environment. To find out more about Grove Place, Hampshire, Summerley Court, Dorset, or London's first luxury retirement village, Battersea Place, please contact us. Choosing a plumber should never be a gamble. Call Drain Doctor and it won't be. Welcome to the 50 Plus Show, the largest exhibition for the active 50 Plus in the UK. The 50 Plus Show takes place in Manchester in March, in London in July and in Glasgow in November. There's lots to see and do at the 50 Plus Show. And best of all, the 50 Plus Show is free. Google the 50 Plus Show to find us. We look forward to seeing you at the 50 Plus Show. Creative Dental Clinic in Budapest, Hungary. The leading destination for dental tourism in Europe. 
specializing in dental implants, oral surgery and porcelain crowns. We have provided affordable dental care to UK patients for over a decade at prices 50% to 70% cheaper than in the UK. Make the right choice for dental treatment abroad. Contact our UK office or visit our website to find out more. Creative Dental Clinic. Start smiling today. There's a national plumber that charges you the same rate with no call-out cost, day or night. Drain Doctor. Imagine owning a family retreat to provide an instant release from the rigours of modern life. Welcome to Willoughby. Enhance your leisure time by escaping to the coast or the countryside in a fully furnished caravan holiday home or lodge that matches your lifestyle requirements at home or abroad. Long established as the UK's number one, Willoughby is a British manufacturing success with the widest choice of home from home accommodation from which to choose. The perfect destination awaits. Welcome back to part two. Whilst looking into the prospect of investing in a UK holiday home, we met up with Scott Higgins for a tour around a holiday park in the Midlands. Hi, I'm Scott Higgins, I'm the Marketing Manager of Salop Leisure. We're here at Seven Oaks Holiday Park, just outside Shrewsbury. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour of the park. And what we've tried to do is develop a park which has got great landscaping, great gardens, uh, nice private pitches um, with plenty of space for everyone to enjoy and get away for weekend retreats and weeks at a time. The beauty of something like this for, from a customer's point of view is, is it, it provides you with a base which is kept to exceptionally high standards. Um, as I say, for you and your immediate family to get away from it all for weekends, weeks at a time and just relax, unwind. Um, we've got on-site fishing here, we've got a bowls green, we've got a gymnasium. So it just allows someone to get away from the sort of the day-to-day -day rigmarole of life. On site we've developed two or three fishing pools. Um, it's one of the facilities that we offer for people to get away from the Midlands and be able to use these facilities. They're free of charge to the owners, so there's no extra cost when you come on site. Uh, they can bring their fishing gear down here, fish throughout the day and the evening, just have as a peaceful retreat to walk around with, with family and friends. Um, you know, and it's just another benefit of owning a holiday home. If fishing is one of your um, pleasures in life, then this allows you to do it as often as you please, again, at no extra cost. Being owner occupiers, you know you've got the same familiar faces week in week out and it becomes a bit of a, a community um, spirit on the park really. Um, people obviously make friends on the park, um, you know they come and see one another, you know, sort of social barbecues and people look out for each other. Um, at this particular park last year we, we were unfortunate to have um, one of the owners um, had a brain hemorrhage uh, while she was on site and air ambulance came and lifted her away from the park and we're pleased to say she, she made a full recovery and the park then, they all pulled in together and did a barbecue on site, um, all in aid of the air ambulance and, and it's, it's that family community and that experience that people get when they, when they become an owner on a holiday park, um, they're buying into a lifestyle. I think most people when they're considering uh, getting into a holiday home, the first and, and fundamental choice is actually location because at the end of the day it's rather like picking a property, location, location, location. So whether someone's looking for a, a more of a rural spot or coastal, that would tend to be decision one. Secondly, in terms of the size and the, the kind of accommodation, do they need two bedrooms or three bedrooms, for instance? How many en suites and bathroom facilities do they desire? These would tend to be the key characteristics. And then it comes down to the fine tuning, the jewellery, if you like, the additional options and creature comforts that uh, the couple desire. If they've got the location already sorted, which um, you know that can take anything from a week or two to two years, we have people that we've been dealing with for several years before they actually get to the fruition of actually buying the buying the holiday home. Um, but if you came today and said, "Look, you know, Mark, I'd like I'd like this Willoughby Boston that we're in. You know, when can I have it?" Between Peter and myself. Uh, we would sort that out. You know, probably six to eight weeks. Um, if it's a stock unit, you can have it within two. Here we are in the uh, the lounge, the luxury lounge area, as you can see with a separate seating area, wall-mounted TV, and a separate dining and relaxation area, and a feature patio doors to make the most of uh, of one's view. Just over here, we have um, fully equipped kitchen, see with modern designer extractor as one of the key features, 
things like five burner hob, which are not unusual these days in lodge products, and all of the other essentials now for, uh, for, for modern living, microwave, cooker, fridge, freezer. And for those like me that don't like the washing up, the old dishwasher as well. This is the, uh, the twin bedroom at the, the rear of the lodge with its own ample walk-in wardrobe. As you can see, lots of storage in there for even a large family. Here we are in the master bedroom. And as per the twin, what we have is ample walk-in wardrobe, lots of storage for uh, shoes and hanging rails, etc. And believe it or not, um, storage for luggage as well, one of the key essentials. The other luxury feature in this particular lodge is its own ensuite shower room with designer quadrant shower. And here we have the, the family bathroom with all essential fittings, including its own dedicated bath and shower. So really to conclude in terms of the Boston, what you have is, is a very economical priced product, including all modern features, including low energy lighting, water reducing valves, etc, etc. Increasingly these days, there are things like the thermal efficiency and performance of the product, particularly considering that we are using gas products, for instance, for heating actually retaining that heat has become a critical element within the design. It's not just about fancy colours and frills anymore. You work hard you know, all your life to get yourself into a position where you can afford to enjoy your retirement. And obviously that's the retirement age is, is quite a political thing at the moment. But I think that you know, there's no pockets in shrouds, so therefore whatever money you've got, whatever time you've got left, you, know, you need to be able to enjoy that. And I think that the, the kind of experience is you, you kind of work really hard then, oh my God, what do you do? You know, if I stay at home, all I'm going to do is mow grass, uh, paint, paint windows and look, pick up the ground children. Whereas if you have a holiday home, it's like a bolt hole. It's a bit of escapism, really. And you go there, you do your fishing, your walking, your swimming, you're lying around, you're drinking, whatever it's going to be. You know, there's, there's such a choice of caravan parks that there's something for everyone there. Holiday homes are relatively easy to find in terms of locations. There's something like three and a half thousand parks across the UK and um, that side of things is relatively straightforward. It becomes more of a challenge with a lodge product. There are fewer lodge parts at the moment, but it's something that's evolving, something that's growing. And to give people an idea, there's probably something like 450 locations which would adopt a lodge product. But generally, it's a bit like trying to find that perfect house. It, it really is a case of doing the detective work to find the pitch and the part that has availability at that moment in time. But it's an enjoyable experience. You'll meet lots of interesting people en route when you're actually trying to find that ideal pitch. When you go away, you're in a, a leisurely environment, so that you're more relaxed and you enjoy yourself more. And I think that when you're in the hustle and bustle of everyday life, you know, you kind of you have that bit of stress, whatever it is. I think it's just escaping from that, really. One of the key things that we would advise people when considering is about making a careful purchase. It is at the end of the day quite, um, quite a considerable sum of money, although the reality is that that money would be spread over a period of probably 10 years or so. So really it's to think carefully about that capital investment, give detailed consideration to the park environment, the number of bedrooms as we said before, is it going to provide enough space? But equally, to be thinking about um, the, their neighbours and the environment where the thing is going to be situated, please make sure that we, we take time to visit park and visit the exact spot where that unit's going to be sited. So the sort of things that we've got in, at Grove Place and the amenities here are, we've got a, a swimming pool and jacuzzi, we've got a restaurant, we've got a bar for the residents, we've got a billiards room, crafts room, hairdressing salon, massage room, I mean, there's a lot of things here that, um, that you and I would, would really like to have access to ourselves. And it's just a whole, a whole new way of life, uh, access to so many different things. Well, mum and dad moved into a retirement village eight years ago. And very soon after that, when mum was at one of the exercise classes, dad collapsed and managed to push the emergency call button um, and was rushed off to hospital and his life was saved. So, you know, already uh, for me, there, there is you know, a lot of benefit and peace of mind for, for a son that lives so far away. Um, Dad doesn't keep good health but mum is still very independent and so she can enjoy all the benefits of the village and has now just made her second trip to the UK which is the first ever overseas trip she's made and she could come and stay with us for two weeks and enjoy London and Italy and Dad was looked after at the retirement village in the nursing home so there are a lot of benefits uh, that I see as a, as a customer as well as an operator in, in the sector and for my sisters as well it's peace of mind to know that mum and dad 
uh, happy and well looked after and living a really independent and strong life. We were very fortunate really when we came. The first time was a lovely day and of course everything looks rosy. So having had previous properties and you know jolly well that if you go on a damp day things look different. So we took advantage of two further visits, one of which we were asked if we would like to stay a couple of nights, which was very nice. And at that time we got to know the general ambience of the whole of Grove Place, the restaurant, the type of residents that were here. In our previous properties, we'd always had a detached property, hadn't we? Mm. We've never been used to close neighbours. This was something else that we were going to have to adjust to. So on our first visit, I think we um, saw that there were not too elderly a person either side of where we had uh, hoped to purchase. And generally we thought, right, OK, this is good. And we've, I think we've settled well. Certainly our neighbours are um, I hope, I hope, I hope, in, in Yes, I hope we didn't put them people. off because we quizzed them quite hard about yes, what it was like. Um, we were particularly interested in the fact that the um, positioning of the property, where was the sun, where was the wind, prevailing wind coming from, all those sorts of things. So you ask how they felt it because they've been here longer and got good responses from them. So all that we've done in talking to people here has all been positive. We didn't, I don't think we had any negatives, did no, we? No, we haven't. So here's our beautiful manor house. It's 16th century grade one listed building. Um, most of our amenity is housed in here. We've got the restaurant and, and resident bar, billiards room. Here's the, there's the patio that the residents enjoy having a pims on in the, in the afternoon and watching the croquet on the lawn here. You'll see as we walk around that everything's really flat, so accessibility is really important for us, for our residents, so they can access all of the facilities. So the paths are flat, they're lit, so when they're coming home from the resident bar in the evening, they make it home safely. Over here is the sunken garden, which is the last piece of landscaping for us to restore. It's, it's over 120 years old and quite a, quite a fascinating piece of landscaping. We hope to convert that into a croquet green. We're very much more relaxed. We're enjoying the lifestyle. The people here are delightful. The staff particularly are, are bend over backwards to help you. And if there's anything you want there, if you can't find it, they will. So all the directional stuff to how to best use our time has been well thought through by others as well as ourselves and we're making the best of it. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. See you next week.